Hello and welcome to the show! We are here with the exciting conclusion of uh, Who Has the Brownies Pants Tournament. Yes, it's some GTA 5 racing, I promise you. Uh, I, I should say, the way we're filming this, I don't actually know what the points table is like after the first half. We think me and Impega are... You'll, you lot will have a much better idea than I do. We're pretty sure me and Impega are... At the top, uh, Danger Man, Brazen, you and are all quite competitive. Liam's not had too bad of a time. Uh, so they're, they're, they're the vehicles that are, I think, most likely to be getting. Stinty's not done too badly either. Ah! No! <laughs> you buggers! <laughs> um, so yeah, we're going to see how this goes. It's going to be utter mayhem. Oh no, don't give me an infinite respawn. Oh no, game. I actually need to respawn. I need to be on the track at the minute mark. Oh no, game. Game, game. Game, game. Oh, that was so close. Uh, <laughs> such a long respawn. Uh, this isn't even the most ridiculous circuit that we drive. Not really. Uh, when I say that, I mean, this is a pretty ridiculous circuit. The brown pants circuits are, to be fair. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Uh, ceiling. Flip. Flip. Bad. Bad. Land on wheels. Land on Stevie. Land on wheels now, please. Wheels. Wheels. Down. Hello, danger man. I'm still on my roof. And recover. <laughs> That's awful. <laughs> okay, I shouldn't have gone flat out over there. Uh, the adder is, funnily enough, very quick. Um, yeah, that one that one did not work. Oh, through. And this is why the track is called Brown Pants, because we have these sections uh, that are, well, funnily enough, very, very narrow. Uh, oh, Aaron's car is very broken as well. <laughs> that's, that's really busted. Uh, I think I think when your car's that broken, it actually gets to a point where you probably just want to reset and accept that uh, the car's had it, because uh, that will be an undrivable mess, I would imagine. Uh, yeah, okay. We've had a bad start. You know, these happen. That's fine. Uh, there is plenty of time to recover. There's plenty more hazards, as you can see, as the track races off into the sky. Uh, there is plenty more narrow sections to negotiate. You see, brown pants had one narrow wall. Browner pants had two narrow walls. And brownest pants, the track we're driving on here, has three. Uh, we are catching Stinty, but there's no way in hell we're going to make that pass stick in time. And we don't need to lose any more time. We've lost enough early on. So, I'm not, I mean, it's tempting to try to give Stinty a bump draft or something. I'm going to guess Mute got involved in a crash there as they had no momentum going forward up this hill. Uh, yeah, there's no need to get involved in, in petty, silly crashes um, at this moment. I mean, I guess okay, like there never is, but uh, especially at this juncture, we don't want to get slowed down. Stinty, don't try climbing over us. Uh, we're going this way. I don't know whether this is a good shout, actually. I wanted to go the way with the pack, but uh, the pack's gone the other way, and I didn't realise until too late. I think we're going to be far enough back that we shouldn't have any issues. We might have one. No, Mute will be ahead of us. And that is the third of the brown pants walls, and it's a different one to the previous ones. It's not just a long corridor. That one there, we've got sort of filtering from either side. That first type of asking, whoa, that, okay, that corner's a lot quicker than I expected. Um, and I, I did not intend to break check the crap out of mute there. That is just way faster than I realised it was. I thought that was a, a more technical chicane, but never mind. Um, yeah, with the way that filters in, it wasn't too bad because we were all a bit spread out. That will get a lot more crazy. Uh, if the pack is all together. They get ridiculous if you have a pack. And, I mean, we might get to a point where if the pack is together, a lot will probably go the same way. However, there's going to be some looking for a sneaky advantage. So, yeah, there's always a chance. Oh, we got lots of... Uh, carried a lot of momentum into there. Oh, level 8 entered first and then immediately exploded. That doesn't sound like it went well. Uh, oh, I'm on the brakes up here. Okay, get down, get down. Yep. That was a good call. Oi! <laughs> snaky, snaky car over there. That was all sorts of uh, dicey. Uh, but we got it under control. All is fine. We're up to eighth now. And then we are going through the wall and jumping on the brakes uh, for the turn that Stevie forgot about. And Pega's car looks, well, not in the right shape anymore. Pega's car took a big hit on the wall. Uh, we've taken some scratches, but that, I mean, that's mostly from bloody Stinty climbing over us. <laughs> that's, I think, where that's come from. The rest of it, uh, the front corner's taken a little bit of a chunk, but... Uh, considering we were rolling, and we were last after the uh, first time through that kind of jump pad, uh, can we pass Amy nicely here? Uh, relatively so. The leaders are heading up towards the wall. 
the council's been really busy putting up these bollards again. Uh, is this going to go well? That is the question. It's definitely not going well for the cars ahead. Oh, I actually ended up moving across on Amy a bit more than I intended to there. Uh, that was... I mean, we actually got out of there with some good momentum. Well, I, I think I moved across on Amy uh, there, unless they were happy to go for a bump draft and just decided it was better to push a car through that gap, which is actually not the worst idea in the world, really. Uh, we've got Liam appearing on the left. Oh, three wide up here is going to be... Uh, Interesting. No one with too much overspeed from the slipstream. Gliska's going left. Uh, I will go left as well. well. Liam, I don't think Liam quite could decide what way to go on that one. It was a little bit last minute and dicey. Uh, and it didn't help then end up making a little bit of contact uh, with Liam. Oh. oh, we made it through. How did we make it through? <laughs> Well, that's not, that we would not have made it through if it wasn't for as many cars around us. Essentially, um, straight again. We, we had so many vehicles going in that forward direction that enough contact was made in such a way that just all the cars just got pushed going forward. Sort of like when a front-wheel drive car gets a lot of oversteer, you just boot it and it kind of drags itself around. It's sort of the sort of the GTA equivalent of that. In that there's, just, there's a crash going on, but everyone boots in and everyone pushes and just everything ends up pointing in the forward direction. Uh, now if we can do that in a couple of laps time, I'd be very happy. Whoa, we're going to run a little bit wide here. We're on the curb and we're getting some oversteer. That's fine. I have a feeling we're about to have a monumental accident. Oh, I tried to get on the brakes, but it was too late. Uh, I was on the brakes better than Gliska. We brushed the ceiling. Oh, why is my car done a flip? Land it! Oh! <laughs> Stunt of the day might have been recorded there. Holy crap, we've got so much speed. Danger Man's car is smoking heavily. We have punched our way into the lead, but that damage on the front of my car is a problem. That damage is a real big problem. I mean, the damage on Danger Man's car is bad too. We're both in a bad shape here. Oh, no, they're smoking again. Yeah, we're both in a bad way. Now... Danger Man is going to reset. I was expecting that coming at some point. Good idea to reset. Now, I'm half tempted to reset as well because I don't want this damage. Go if I reset now, I'll have a chance to catch up. I'm trying to think where's a good point to reset uh, around a lap. Danger Man actually had a really good idea where to reset there at a slow corner uh, because I want to get rid of this damage for the final lap. What I might do is I'm going to run it. I'm going to run it through the wall and if there's a crash, there's a crash and I don't care because I will just reset. Um... As long as I can get a checkpoint somewhere. Oh, dear. Uh, well, there's going to have to be a yield. Oh, no, oh, we made it through. I don't want to reset at high speeds. We've made it through. The cars behind haven't. Um, I should have done what Danger Man did, reset at a hairpin. That, would have been, that was a really good way to reset. Because, um, yeah, I'm worried about the downhill. Everywhere else, my car's all right. Uh, it's not it, It's not great, this damage. There's a huge group of cars that are going to catch before the end of the race. That is a real big concern. <laughs> All right, what way is Danger Man going? Uh, I didn't know if Danger Man was nudging us this way because they wanted to go this way or whether they were just... I think they are just trying to set up for the corner. Uh, this is looking like it's going to be a dicey one here. Who is going to come out in front? Danger Man is a little bit... Actually, that's fine. Uh, Danger Man was quicker through there. I didn't even need to lift. Uh, I was lifting because I, I thought we were going to be closer, but no, I misjudged that massively. That's fine. Oh, I know where we can reset. Although we will be buried in the pack. I might just go with the damage. Screw it. Because otherwise we are going to have to deal with the pack. We're going to have to deal with the pack anyway, but uh, we could reset this hairpin coming up. But once we've got down the hill, it's fine. And a perfectly clean car can have issues down the hill. So we're just going to go for it. Brazen is up with the lead group. Ewan with a big overtake. And we're certainly not the only one with a broken car here. Uh, Ewan with the line that I think you want on the final lap. I think you're going to want that outside line. Because it is not a long run to the finish line. Uh, here at all. So, slipstream pull in the middle is not enough. Slipstream in these cars is not enough. Ewan's car's got buckled rear wheels. So, I know the front of my car is, is a problem. So, I'm actually going to pull all the way to the left. I don't want to get involved. I don't want the slipstream here. What I want to do is go on the brakes, and I didn't really want to get any airtime, but we've got some. It's less than a lot of the other cars. Big crash is going on in front of us. However, we got it through. We made it through. That is what we wanted to do. We are clear of everybody as we run down the hill. Gliska will come shooting past. Uh, that is fine. Oh, we get out of the tunnel and we are under control quite nicely. That's perfect. That couldn't have gone better for me, really. 
Uh, I mean, the, only, so the only thing that could have gone better is we could have had a massive lead that no one could uh, have caught up, but that was always going to be very far-fetched on this circuit. Uh, so yeah, I'm happy with that. Uh, the damage did not play too much of a part. I'm wary of it. It's definitely a factor in this car now. Uh, but yeah, we made it through. That was a good call. Uh, the, the pack is catching back up, but it's always going too. Newt's car is looking funky. Level 8, well, it's rear corner damage on level 8. So rear's not too bad. Um, damage on these is the front that's the concerning part now oh amy's turned up with a lot of speed that could actually be quite good for me if i can get in the slipstream here we could pull clear of gliska and co oh although not pull clear of mute mute with an even bigger draft uh, we are all happy to sit in line no need doing anything stupid through there uh, <laughs> yeah no like I, I was gonna say i really don't want to do anything stupid through there we've we're in a good position in the championship um the last thing we want to do is do something stupid, but there wasn't really much chance to do something stupid there. It was always going to be just going a line uh, through that one. As we head up the hill, who is going to go what way? I mean, it's, it's quite easy for me and Mew. I'm going left. Mew is going right. What way is Amy going to go? Amy goes right. Uh, most of the cars go right. I've got low in my car. It's so bad handling through there. We've lost so much time because of the understeer. Uh, it is crippling in this. I'm hoping we're going to slot in behind those three oh there's a big crash for a lot of cars we make it through we survived that was a tremendous shunt amy has actually got out the other side in one piece well done amy for surviving that i don't think gliska did uh all right so level eight leads the way danger man follows brazen is here we've got big slipstream down this straight which is where we want it level eight is frantically trying to get some curb boosting brazen's there as well I know where I want to go for this final corner. We know where we want to put our car. Danger Man with a huge dive bomb. Tried to make it work. It was a good effort. Uh, I think it had... To, uh, no, I respect the effort. I think it was... Uh, uh, I think we were going to get third anyway. I think the other two were just too far out of range for me. Um, so yeah, Danger Man sent it to try and get a podium but couldn't stop it in time. We will cross the line as another third place for us. We've been very consistent. Third, fourth, and third. Brazen takes victory from level eight. Uh, Danger Man ends up in fourth ahead of Amy in fifth. Good recovery considering the massive smash that went on on the third wall. Stinty is sixth ahead of Lado. Uh, Liam ends up eighth ahead of Ewan and then Mute. Not a good race for Liam and Impega. I didn't actually see quite where Impega ended up. Good news for me in the overall championship. But uh, yeah, not so good for Impega. Manic race. Glad that front wheel didn't completely screw me over on that one. So, this is it. The grand finale of our silly little tournament. Uh, we've got the Rebler. I like the Rebler. Wonderful car. Has produced much great racing. Uh, this is likely to be... Uh, it's not as fast, of course, as the Adder around here. Likely to be interesting, that's for sure. Uh, we're not going to quite get as much airtime. Pack will probably be closer. Oh god, that's a lot of oversteer mid-corner that I didn't really want, because I do not want to be buried in the pack. Uh, heading up here. We are going to... Oh, no. Uh, well, we are into the ceiling. Oh, we are over. I think we kickflip Gliska. Liam exploded. Impega is skating along on their roof. Well, well saved by Impega in all of that. I no, don't know how I didn't explode, if I'm being perfectly honest. Stevie with a lot of speed. I don't know where Stevie's going to fit in. Longbow can whiz past in front of us if they so wish. Uh, we are on the brakes, and we are really struggling to pull that one up in time. Oh, Lado's gone. A few other cars are going. Gliska tried to fight. Going around the outside there is so dangerous. Gliska did, good, did, did well to not end up off the track, to be honest with you. Um, yeah, there was a lot of oversteery revelers almost on the absolute brink of control there. So, <laughs> that, was, uh, that was quite a thing uh, going on. We will... I mean, look, it's not the best start for us, but we're still with the lead pack. Oh, someone's had a big wobble. That's a Stevie going for an off. Um, that's fine. I mean, we have... Oh, Mute's got a big bobble. We found a gap. Go, Danger Man, go. We're going to push Danger Man. That's a hell of a bump draft, actually. I'm going to... Oh, I maybe shouldn't have lifted. Don't want to be involved in this. Oh, there's a gap. We've got to slot in somewhere. The problem is we had to slot in somewhere. Mute had no option but to basically do whatever I did. And I was just trying to find a gap to fall in. Unfortunately, it has cost a bunch of momentum. <laughs> uh, I mean, if I try, if I put my foot down there, I could have tried to keep that. But we would have had a tremendous crash. And it might have been, you know, it might have been us that came off better. It might have been, I mean, it probably would have been both. Whatever vehicle I hit would have come off worse. I'm going to go with the pack here. Uh, 
I, I do generally think if you've got to follow the pack, you're going to be better off here. We shouldn't really have any impact with the leaders, though. We should be fine, because they're going to hit in front of us, pretty much. Yeah, indeed they did. And we will actually come out of all of that with the lead of the race. So that was a good call. Good call all round. We've come out the other side, leading the way. Uh, I mean, we're going to we're gonna get caught. Of course we are. Um, there's no... <laughs> No no doubt about it. And that's the point of this race. It'd be a very boring race if you didn't have Slipstream and catch up on that, for sure. Because the point of it is uh, silliness and to be dealing with these narrow sections with a lot of cars around you. Um, but yeah, that's fine. Longbow is on the ultra... Well, what line Longbow is going for there? Uh, I could say on the ultra-aggressive attacking line, but uh, looks like they might have had a controller malfunction or something. Uh, or Yeah, I don't know what's going on with Longbow's vehicle. There was uh, a lot of... Uh, Oh, I, I might have bumped Liam the faintest of bumps, although it has actually got Liam into second, and I'm up to third, so I'm fine with that. I mean, I'm actually really happy to just jink left, stay out the slipstream, and get on the brakes uh, up here. I don't really want to be flying into the ceiling. Uh, Ewan with a wonderfully controlled flight. I was actually very out of control over there. Uh, I was spinning the wheels loads by the time I landed, but... Uh, yeah, oh, Ewan's going to shoot through the middle. Liam's got a lot of momentum here. I'm going on the brakes. Liam and Ewan have got together. Mute with the right line. I was trying to frantically avoid everything and not spin. I will take that outcome, though. Uh, we, were, we were a little bit slow, but we didn't spin. And we didn't crash into anything. So there we go. Also, my dog was sneezing in the background. If you heard that, that's what it was. Uh, <laughs> so, sorry about that. I don't know whether the microphone would have picked it up. But uh, I should just say, in case you heard weird sounds going on, right? Can't go anywhere. We'll push mute. These can bump draft. I mean, they're not the best thing in the world, but they can do it if needed. Which, you know, I think we're going to end up doing a fair bit uh, down here. Now we've got three, three wide for the lead, and this is not what we want. You don't want three wide. Gliska might settle for a push here. Try and push me forward, but I've not got momentum here. We are going to just back off. Yeah, Gliska backed off as well. Realised what was going to happen. Uh, oh, well. That should not have worked. <laughs> I thought Gliska was happy to back off. They weren't. They wanted to go. And uh, I, I survived that by basically climbing over Mute's car. That's not physics. That shouldn't have quite worked that well. I mean, I guess it didn't completely launch the car to space, which is something. Oh, there's no way that should have worked. We could do that a million times and it would never work that well. I'm going to wait and see what way the pack goes here. Ah, we're going left. <laughs> well, there's no reason to be super aggressive there. Um, I mean, that is kind of, say, in some ways it's a little bit downside of this, this sort of track where it really is a case of um, catch-up is so powerful, there is almost no reason to be super aggressive at a few places. Because we're just going to get a slipstream here, and we will take the lead away eventually from someone, whether it be you and whether it be uh, level 8 here. Uh, oh, there is a yellow car having a look. Yellow car thought better of it. Oh, we got a big sl we got a big slide that then gave a very big slide to poor level 8. Now the whole horde is coming to join. Uh, this is a close, this is a lot closer a race than the other ones. Although we've still got two more laps to go. There's still a lot, a lot can go on here. Uh, Gliska sent it to the inside. I'm happy with this outside line. I like the outside line here. You actually get a good run off the corner. Oh, it's a spin for Liam or Stevie. I think it was Liam on that one. Yeah, that outside line is great. Uh, we will push Lado uh, forward. Not that that would have quite been a bump draft from Lado to victory. It would have been close, but uh, not quite. Okay, here we go. Up the hill. Again, I'm going to stick with my preferred option, my preferred line. Just to the left and on the brakes before the final boost pad. But I think everyone is doing it a little bit. Gliska has got underneath Lado. Stinty has tried to jump everybody. Worked out quite well for Stinty. Something spun in the background. That might have been Longbow. Uh, we are going to get pushed down this hill by Ewan. Uh, which works for me. Lado has got past. Uh, Gliska is going for... Oh, well. Joe, I think it was Joe turned up at warp speed on the outside. It was already dicey numbers that we were looking at trying to make fit there, and that just didn't work. <laughs> I mean, the problem was we couldn't back out of it at that point. I mean, maybe the way to go is actually going to be... The way to go for me in this, I think I'm probably leading this championship, but I don't know by how much. And we can't afford a 10th place. 10th place would, would be a problem for us. Um, so it might come, uh, the problem is, is that I've got to drive this safe, right? Which means I've got to be really careful in 
these corridors. Like, well, get away with that because A, we've got a little bit of time and B, we've got, you know, half a lap to go. But uh, it might be better off like, to really back out of it. The problem is if I back out of it, what's going to happen is not going to just lose a couple of places. All the cars that aren't backing out of it are going to come flying past. Oh, that is a... That is a bad sight. Where is this crash going to happen? It's still happening. Uh, I was trying to check up and find a gap in Pega just foot down and went for it in hope. <laughs> Which, I mean, is a solid plan. It didn't really do it. It didn't really do either of us any better than the other. Um, we're happy just to bump draft in Pega up here because I've got no other option. The only option would be curb boost near the edge, but that's dangerous curb boosting right on the very edge of the track. So, uh, I'm going to just push the white car forward. We will follow in Pega. In fact, Pega got some oversteer. Struggled with the braking down there. Um, Oh, the pack's gone the other way. <laughs> That's not what I want. That's not what I want at all. I think we're going to be ahead here. No. No. Oh, that's awful. That might be me done. We mi The worst bit of all of that is we missed the checkpoint. Well, I've got one lap. It is going to have to be an absolute miracle from here. I should have lifted. I thought I was going to be ahead. I thought where I was judging it on the minimap, we were going to be ahead. Like, I, it wouldn't have been, it would not have been too bad if we'd got the checkpoint, but the way we tipped meant we missed the checkpoint as well. Joe's had a bad time. Stinty's had a terrible time uh, this circuit. I mean, now this is a desperation recovery drive. We want crashes. We need crashes. And that's, there's probably going to be them. There's probably going to be them. We need some points. Uh, I mean, even us this far back, depending on who wins, we might still be able to do it anyway, just because there's a bit, it's quite random. Although I don't need him, Liam and Impega at the front. That's <laughs> well, they had bad other rounds, so you never know. You never know what's going to happen. One lap to go, about two minutes of racing for us to uh, survive here. Uh, anything? Uh, we've seen the big crashes that went on previous lap. Uh, we're not. I don't think we're winning this race don't think we're winning this race, but there is a chance of us picking up more points if other cars crash. Because at the end of the day, any crashes I make here are going to be all on my own. So there's going to be no... Uh, no one's had an accident through here, although someone's had a spin on the exit. Um, but yeah, there's going to be nothing... Oh, that's a very big slide for somebody. Uh, oh, it's a Stinty, who is a lap down. Oh! That's <laughs> level 8. Um, almost ended up getting taken out completely accidentally involved in that. We will jump on the brakes down here. Uh, okay, we're 13th. There's a few points involved for 13th, but not many. We need more. We need something to go on at these two. If, everyone, if everyone's well behaved, there's nothing I can do here. We need some chaos. Come on, chaos. Come on, chaos. Bring, <laughs> bring mayhem and all of that. They're too spread out in front of us. I think there was a, probably a little bit of bumping going on at uh, the first section but nothing too bad so everyone all spread out is awful for me i need them all grouped up because that's when they get slowed down that's when they have big crashes um i mean if level eight catches we can maybe slipstream each other but uh i might have to go i said i didn't really want to be doing curb boosting up the hill and i genuinely don't because it is a risk that if this if it's a risk a that i miss a boost pad it's a risk that i lose the back end over the curbing uh, the leaders are all coming around. The leaders are heading through that section now. I need mayhem to go on. I need cars missing checkpoints. I need cars falling off. Uh, I ran in there very hard. <laughs> I'm pushing the rebel as hard as I bloody dare. But I think it's too late for me. There's nothing we can do. Everybody was well behaved on this final lap. Oh, I need the results. I mean, mute. I'd be happy with a mute win. I'd be happy with an Amy win, or a Gliska win, a Lado win, uh, just take points away from my main championship rivals if you can. I really can't afford to let uh, a level 8 pass me. I think we get like 2 points for 13th or something. Uh, oh, I don't want a Liam victory, that would be very bad news for me. Oh, Liam gets first, Danger Man gets second, our incredible consistency has been undone in the final race. Oh, and level 8 is right behind us. Don't need that. We will be curb boosting all the way there. Have we thrown it away at the end? I genuinely don't know. Liam takes victory from Danger Man. Mute is in third ahead of Impega. Lado is fifth ahead of Brazen. Amy, Longbow, Gliska, Ewan, and Aaron ends up in 11th. Oh, that 
final race was so bad for me. Such the it was a bad time to have a really bad missed checkpoint, and there was just nothing. No crashes on the final lap. No, no, you know, lucky picked up places. Oh, well, championship table is coming up, and I have no idea what it's going to look like. So on to our leaderboard, and it is Danger Man who has the brownest pants and will take victory in this, but it is bloody close. It is only a single point separating the top three. Uh, Danger Man takes victory. Liam uh, will claim second with two victories. Uh, just enough points. Despite having a couple of poor races, those two victories were enough uh, to put Liam into second ahead of Brazen. Uh, very, very close. Impega will claim fourth. Tied on points with me, although Impega with a, a better highest finishing position. I, yeah. To be fair, if I was going to win this tournament, I would pretty much have had to come first or second in that final race, I think, to have got the points I needed. But uh, the crash did not help me, uh, but it was still going to be a very tough one for, <laughs> for me. But yeah, we were there right until the very end. Uh, Ewan slips back a little bit after a very strong start uh, into sixth place. Amy is seventh uh, ahead of level eight and Stinty tied on points. Again, level eight with the uh, higher best finishing position. Uh, it's close though uh, down here. Lado is in 10th, just a point uh, behind them. Uh, we then have Mute in 11th ahead of Longbow. Gliska had a tough time and this one just did not quite go their way uh, whatsoever. Uh, Stevie uh, would be in 14th ahead of Aaron and Job. So there we have it. Danger Man has the brown his pants. This was a really fun tournament to do. Uh, the third of the great brown pants circuits was also very good fun to uh, race around. That uh, that has to be said. Yeah, it's a silly tournament, uh, but an awful, awful lot of fun to be running. And I hope you have all uh, enjoyed this uh, series of races. Of course, a very big thank you to Lado uh, for building these uh, wacky circuits. Uh, though, it's going to be it from me. Until next time, uh, yeah, goodbye.